this the detective agency? No, it's the greenhouse. There it is. to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. No problem, Ellie. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Well, what about you? One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Hold on. First, I have to put on the worn fedora. Let me put my fist away. <laughs> okay, that looks ridiculous. I gotta take off the goggles. That actually kind of doesn't look too bad. All right. Grabbing a seat. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing. Yes. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Um. Describe the um, describe Vault One Eleven. We were in a vault when it happened. Uh, vault One Eleven. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? I don't have a trench coat yet. Underground, sealed up. I might have to go looking for one though. Just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Describe the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but but I remember they. They did. They I only saw the money in the hat pop up. I'll have to take a look after this. I apologize. Keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? I remember lots. We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Children are way easier to manipulate and brainwash than a fully grown adult. Agenda. That would be my assumption. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. The final boss of this game is going to be Sean, who's been morphed into the Super Mutant King, brainwashed from... Wait. Shit, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. Super Mutants. Super Mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Could be the Institute. So, you think this Institute... Is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. And what are you again? Models, good as humans, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Okay, so you are a synth. Yeah, prototype. As far as I know, never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them, really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories and it's not just me any synth that gets trashed left behind or escapes the institute has the same problem probably some kind of failsafe 
Maybe there's a way to unlock that. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I don't remember. The woman was dressed in uh I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. I mean, I have the I have Mr. Fistman, so Mercs can afford makes sense. something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Were they bald and scarred? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Kellogg? Like the cereal? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stand. <laughs> the boy with him was around oh, 10 Time you out of chat, serial killer. So here's the thing that I'm stuck up on at the moment. We don't have, or at least I don't remember, any indication. Something wrong, honey? Yeah, I am talking in my head, okay? I don't recall any indication of how much time passed between Sean being kidnapped and then me being released from the cell. The way the game sets it up, it could be a, like, there's... It could be another hundred years. Sean could be dead. <laughs> and I'm describing somebody who's also long dead because they kidnapped him a generation ago and refroze me and then I was released. Now, obviously it makes sense that it's not that much time has passed because I was released for a reason. But... Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. I'm not going to make the assumption that it's Sean. I don't want to quit thinking about it. I want to figure it out beforehand, as I typically do in these games. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right, let's take a look. I have suspenders and slacks. I look like a... 60s mob boss. Bossed? Other stuff may be cleared? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, faded trench coat. Okay. Look at that. Partners in crime, Mr. Valentine. I do quite like that. Now the question is... Battered fedora? Or worn fedora? Also, can I, I cannot, I can't wear leggings and a, and the trench coat. Why? Why is that a thing? <laughs> of course it rhymed. I'm a lyrical genius, like Yeezy. 
Uh, also, for a moment, Yeezy has got to be the dumbest name. No. He named his kid North. <laughs> Why are you backing? What the hell? <laughs> Where'd you go? Mr. Valentine? Where'd he go? There he is. I'm glad there's stop signs here. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. I'm sorry, I haven't been listening to you, Nick. Kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Oh, come on. You walk like molasses. Hurry up. Why can't I push you? Where are you going? You can't just leave. Is it, is it this place? Oh. But you can just unlock this, right? Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? What do you mean? It's a master lock! Lock tight. Nick. No luck? I need to find the key. Stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. What platform are you looking at? What? Dog meat, what are you doing down there? Alright. New issue of public concern. View from the vault. Outsider's perspective on the talking wall. Is that the platform I'm going for? I've been up here. That's where I decided to shoot down at the uh, the citizens in a in a previous life. Oh gosh, her again. Oh, also, I was looking at it this morning. So it took me with Farah about seven hours to get to, or six hours. Sorry. About six hours to get to Diamond City. The last time I played this, it took me almost ten. Meaning we're making better progress. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. You look like a synth. Mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. Hi, Piper. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? Um, you first. What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> oh. I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yes. Apologies for what's about to happen. Never mind. Sorry for bothering you. Have a nice day. Some funny business around the mayor. Got it? I'm about to do some funny business around the mayor. She's not dying. That wasn't me. What the? Poor dog meat. I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yes. 
So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. She's such a synth. Look at her. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Pretty sure that was the dog. That's what made me, like, pout. Hello, uh, Mr. Donach. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I wanted to tell you that your city looks like shit. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. I see. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I don't have very good... horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed. Charisma. Your word alone isn't hard evidence. How about me killing you? So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. I'm gonna punch you. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. I probably can. But he's standing in front of an open window. Batter up! He can't die. He can't die. Oh, God! I've made a terrible error. All right, now to be serious. I don't like when you can't kill people. It just disappoints me. Ruins my day. Steal the whiskey. Oh, yeah. It's an advanced safe. Uh, no. <laughs> there won't be any of that. Dog meat. Fucking sit down. Hey, wait there. Back about this key. Yeah, what's behind this door? What's in here? Soap. Oh, hell. Giddy up buttercup. This place isn't creepy at all. No, completely fine. There is another, oh no, that's, ah oh, crap, I've locked myself in. Did you need something else? Yes. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Mm. Never mind. Thanks for nothing. Have a nice day. <sighs> I know I have something in here that will help. One... One, one, one. I need something that does my prisma more than one, I think. Uh, I don't. Alright, looks like beer it is. Hey, I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key for me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Please. All I want to do is find my baby. 
The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the son of a bitch before, so save them. <sighs> Just trust me. It's important. You have my word. You really thought that would work, didn't you? I don't think so. Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. I did not want to have to pay for that. Oh, well. At the end of the day, we... Oh, wait! I almost forgot about dog meat. You want your stuff. Got my eye on Hey. Follow. Come on. Remember, you didn't get That's not what I wanted. Come back to me. Got no easy way back to Kellogg's house either. I'm gonna have to go the long way, aren't I? Dog meat, come back. Can I turn off the prompt that causes that radio signal thing to pop up all the time? Because it is so annoying. Nick, I'm just a little bit tipsy. It's okay. Got the key? Yes. Right. Head in. You do the Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Must he have though? He left a hot plate. I'm always wanting to pick up a hot plate. And a broom. Oh. Oh no, my beer wore off. <laughs> um, ah. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Corn. That corn does not look okay. Oh my gosh, there's handcuffs and a cutting board up here. What is he doing? He's got some weird BDSM thing going on. Uh huh. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum. It's really hard to see in here because of the freaking light. There we go. Insta Mash. Ooh, wait. What are orange men tats? When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere. Ooh, Stimpax. Well, suggestions? Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can drag a man's scent for miles. Well. Dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. <gasps> so Nick Valentine is the synth? Can he pick all locks? Because that's going to 
I'm gonna be like going back to Vault 111 if I can get him to pick open that Cryo Master. You gonna talk? No, I'm not gonna talk. I'm considering my options here. So what happens if I have him come with me? Then dog meat isn't able to sniff it out. I don't understand. How's this work? No, I know he's a synth. There's a huge delay here, I think. I know you're waiting on me. You can't pick all locks, okay. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Okay, he will. I I'm trusting you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Well, now I have another question. If I didn't have, if I'd switched over to Piper, what happens at this juncture? Does he say maybe Piper can sniff it out and I give her the cigar and then she gets on all fours and... 